In this video, I want to cover your options for adding video to your website. There are principally uh, two methods to do that. You can embed the code from a popular video site like YouTube, and so it's a very common method. Or if you want to do, and you can then upload your own video to YouTube and then embed the code. So basically, YouTube is hosting it, and it's free. Uh, or you can uh, upload it to a private uh, server and then uh, and basically add a video player plugin to your website and embed it that way. And I'm going to show you both methods because I use both methods. Now first here I'm going to return to my uh, real estate site here and I have this video here. It's not a video I made, it just uh, highlights the area f for one of my real estate websites that I'm creating. Now here's how we do this. This is simple. I'm in my page. Now I'm in the visual editor, not the text editor. But So it shows up like that. What I did is I took, where is it? Here we go. This is the code. It's just an iframe code, and I just put it in there. I can customize the height and the width. So, and that's it. And I put it in there, and I publish it, and it plays like a regular video. So um, let's go to YouTube and check out how to get that code. It's free and it's fast. So here we are, it's decorating our video I want to add to my website scroll down and you go to share and you take the embed there and that's it now you can always check the default sizes there so we got 420 by 350 and that would fit in most I would make it a little bit bigger so I might go like the 480 route and then go there but you can also customize it so let's say you wanted to do something for the sidebar like you know very narrow very small there you go you change it just like that you just take that code you copy it and you embed it just like that and check this out now your video is not going to show up normal normally with the uh, in the visual editor like that see like how small that is and if I publish that uh, it will show up and there we go we've embedded a video now you can take that embed code let's refresh this page and you'll see the size of it we made it a custom size there it is very very simple so I'm just going to take that out of there because I don't need it. Now you can take that code. So we've got our code. I've still got it saved on my clipboard. And we can add it to a sidebar. Because if you take a look at the site of mine, I actually have it in a side. I have a video in the sidebar on the home page right here. And to do that, you just go to your widget zone. And we are going to add another one. So we are going to, let's, let's add it to our primary sidebar, so the inside page. So I take a text widget, I go like that, and I plug our code in there. You can see it's 210. You might have to play with the size a little bit to make sure it fits your sidebar. Not every sidebar is the same. And we save it, and we go here. Let's go to an inner inside, I don't have my primary sidebar here. And there we go. It's in our sidebar. So, you know, YouTube loves people embedding the videos. So, you know, unless the, the publisher of the video on YouTube makes it private and doesn't allow embedding, it's yours to be used. And there's lots of great videos and you can add great content to your website. So that's the YouTube embed. And, and the other video sharing sites like Vimeo and uh, I, I don't really use any other ones, but they, they, they should all offer an embed option. Now, Let's say you want to do what I'm doing with this site. Now this site is more of a private site and I, you have to register or subscribe to get access to my tutorials here and I've obviously lots of videos here. So what am I doing? Well, what I'm doing is I added a, this is the video plugin I use. There's lots of them. So you can try different ones. I've tried many, many, many of them. This is the one I like. It's FV WordPress Flow Player makes it very easy. It uses short codes, which I'll show you. So I have it loaded. You can easily add it as a plugin. And then under settings, I've got my FE WordPress Flow Player settings. And here we are. So you can dictate a lot of options like autoplay, auto buffering. And you can go through those and see how you want to set up your video. You can even control the canvas colors. So you can make the canvas colors different color if you like. And your sliders. So you, have, you even have design control over the player, which is nice, and you can control whether there are controls on the video that people can use and so forth. And then at the bottom, it has 
what are called short codes. And short codes are these square brackets with snippets of code that go inside and they'll display it. So basically this is what I'm using for this site. So if we go to a uh, post of mine where I have my videos, let's go to my menus video here and you'll see my short code. Look at that, there it is. So I changed the size to 580 by 380, 580 wide, 380 height. Now, what you need to do is you need to input this is just a player. This isn't a server where the video is going to go on. Now, you could, I think you could probably add videos to your your actual WordPress website and your server, but that's going to that could get costly, and you may exceed the resources you're permitted on your server quickly because video is a hog when it comes to bandwidth. Um, I'm, I'm not a huge tech guy on the video side. I just do what I do and I make it work. So what I've done is I have an account with Amazon. It's S3, like. I have hundreds of videos and I get lots of views every month and I pay a few dollars a month. It's not it's super super cheap. And here's my Amazon account. Uh, I've just finished uploading. We'll, we'll cancel that. And I've got all these videos here. So what I do, so here's the S these are the actual videos. Sorry, let me just make that so you can see that. There you go. There we go. I've actually got these videos. These are the ones I'm creating for these tutorials. I've got my SEO video, and I've, first what what you do is you're going to create a bucket. So I'm going to have uh, all my buckets. You create a bucket, and inside your bucket you upload videos, and it's very simple. And once you just upload like this, add file, and then you start the upload. Then what happens is you have to make it public, so you make it public, which I've done for this video, and then you want to get the properties. The properties is we're going to give you, this is the link to the video that I put right here. And so this player, and wrapped in a short code, is pulling that video hosted on the Amazon server. The Amazon server is super cheap. It's a great deal. The other option I have used in the past is screencast.com. There is a free option that you will have very limited space, but you can start there. That's how I started with videos. It's free and you just upload. It's actually an easier interface than Amazon is, uh, but it's very limited. You're not going to get a lot of videos on there before they're going to ask you to pay. And if you pay, it's a lot more money than the Amazon. So that's why I switched. And most uh, publishers that do really any serious video work will use the Amazon server. So that's where you want to go. With this built-in player here that I'm using, this shortcode can also go into widget zones as well. I just adjust the sizes. I could add various snippets of code so that when the, the video shows up, I can have uh, an image on the video uh, as a, just basically, a, I guess, a, a screenshot right on the video instead of just the black screen. Lots of options to customize it. You don't have to use this player. There are lots of players. Again, let's go to uh, Google and I'll just show you. you just search for uh, WordPress plugin video player. All sorts. Just start looking. All kinds. Different formats, different videos, and all of that. So you can find it. And again, I believe uh, you can find some, you can pay for custom um, players as well. They can obviously cost you money. So, I mean, if you want more bells and whistles, you can do that. So this video, very, very simple. It's great to use. And, uh, you know, with YouTube, you can add all sorts of videos. And I, I do I do that all the time. I add lots of other people's videos. I, I upload my own videos to YouTube and add them there and so forth.